Hey honey! What is up you guys? My name is Tyler Schmidt, otherwise known as Tyler P. Schmidt on Instagram. And I was asked to be Hey Honey's beauty blogger of the month. Like, why? I have never been given an opportunity like this before, so I'm completely grateful and humbled to be working with Hey Honey and being able to be their beauty blogger of the month. I'm someone who's learning and is on their makeup journey just like a lot of you are and I think it's important to remember that like everyone is human and we make mistakes which has been such a learning experience through this entire process but you guys are going to get to know me a little bit more we're going to be doing a little q and A. I'm going to be doing my makeup using some Hey Honey products and let's just get right to it So my account has actually been transforming a lot. I used to have a personal account and just post pictures and photos of myself here or there occasionally. And I would always see on my explore page all of these like fun makeup videos that people were doing with fun music playing in the background. And I was like, this is something that looks so much fun to do. Um, it's incorporating something that I'm so passionate about and it's sort of just like butterflied into what it is now I used to make YouTube videos in high school and after being bullied a lot I pretty much stopped that and uh, this summer I actually started the channel up again and was just posting weekly videos of me doing makeup which sort of then escalated into these Instagram tutorials where now I can be posting more content more frequently and that is something that I love and it's something that YouTube didn't allow me to do you can't really incorporate music with your YouTube videos they have a lot more copyright policies so I was never really able to show my love and appreciation for a certain music that I listen to and incorporate it with makeup looks. I'm going to be using the Hey Honey Tone It Up Toner, first thing that I'm going to be using. And you guys, this is super good with ingrown hair, which I literally have the worst problem with. And I've been using this and I've actually seen so much reducing of redness on my neck and it's just felt so much smoother. Um, so I really have been liking using this toner. Uh, typically I'll use like a pad at night if I'm taking off my makeup, but I'm just gonna use my fingers and apply it on my face. This is gonna protect, calm, and balance my skin. Next I'm gonna be using the Hey Honey Trick and Treat CC2 Cream. Using the shade Light to Medium Tone. So I am from Pittsburgh, PA, born and raised, and I've actually been really looking into moving, um, mostly to LA. I've been there twice now, just most recently in the summer of 2019 and also in this winter of 2019, so I fell in love to say the least, and I wouldn't mind living there, so I'm a junior in college right now, and after I graduate, Notes. I'm just taking it with a foundation brush and just blending it in. I'm loving how the finish is looking. It's really dewy and I'm really into the dewy look for some, um, summer, for winter recently, so I'm digging. I started blogging because I had always watched people doing makeup videos when I was younger and it was always just like an escape from reality type of deal if I'm gonna be completely honest. There would be so many nights that I would just be sitting and laying in bed and watching people on YouTube and Instagram and always just was so passionate about what they did and always had the idea that I wanted to do it but was never fully confident in being able to take the steps to do this sort of stuff. I'm gonna be blending a little bit of lighter concealer on the high points of my face. I think what gives me the most satisfaction is probably the fact that me getting inspired by others has led on to me inspiring others and I've seen that through Instagram with people tagging me in certain things which I'm extremely grateful for and I honestly couldn't thank people enough for their constant support with what I'm doing. Honestly, words don't even describe how grateful I am to even be given a chance to do something like this so the fact that people are just so accepting and so just like loving and passionate about the same thing that I'm passionate about it really just 
gets me so excited to want to keep producing more content and it makes me excited to do this type of stuff. I use setting powder with a beauty blender rather than a brush because I feel like you can really press in the um, powder so that is why I use a just a makeup sponge over any brush for when it comes to setting powder. Probably the most, the most excited or proud moment, that's a tough one because throughout this journey there have been like so many different highs and lows and I'm so appreciative for both um, because they've gotten to me to where I am in life right now, like right at this very point. So, um, I don't know, I'm just like so appreciative for so many different things and that is why I have to give you that complex answer. <laughs> if anyone out there uses highlighter, spray your brush with setting spray before you highlight your face. Thank me later. I'm so excited about a lot of new beauty trends, honestly, but I think personally for myself, I'm more excited to start letting more color in because before I would always be so scared of different like colored eyeshadows even putting them on um, and now I've just pretty much let down my walls and I'm really thankful that I've been able to do that and get to that point. It definitely was a tough struggle but um, yeah probably that. Beauty trends that I think should fade away are definitely reverse contouring that comes to mind. I literally don't understand it. Um, the look, in my opinion, like never comes out good. So I stopped trying, but I still see people doing it. And I don't know, girl, I'll just leave that in 2019. <laughs> In my spare time, I love to either just chill with friends, relax. I have a pretty much close group right now, and I love to travel, I love to explore, I love to be by myself, I love to hang out with friends, I love to play with makeup. There's so many different things that uh, I do in my free time, but I'm also in college too, so that is something I also have to um, do in my free time, but yeah, it's process but we're hanging in there <laughs> uh, I, I see so much for the future of my account um I really just want to be working with more brands I want to be engaging with more people I want to be inspiring people I want to continue to be inspired myself and I think that I just want to make like a community of just a safe space and somewhere where Anyone can feel comfortable to just be themselves because I think that's so important and not enough people are talking about it, but just being yourself and knowing your self-worth is so important and that's something that I um, advocate and I talk about on my page. I used to be afraid to be this person, but I'm not anymore. Through a lot of learning and a lot of love, a lot of crying, a lot of ups, a lot of downs, but like I said, it's brought me to where I am today. I'm gonna go put on lashes and then we'll be back for the final look. <laughs> I'm back, I'm just gonna set my face with a little bit of setting spray and then the look will be complete. Hey you guys, this is the look all complete. Thank you so much again to the Hey Honey team for making me the featured beauty blogger of the month. Once again, that means so much. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, sort of got to know me a little bit more. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, like I said, my name is Tyler P. Schmidt. I post daily content and makeup videos all the time. And um, yeah, looks like that's everything. Thank you so much again for watching, guys. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Bye. Bye, honey. <laughs>